Yo guys, Mystic here, and today we are back with another episode of our 7 Days to Die Day 1 base series. Now, if you are enjoying this series and you do want to support the channel and help this video grow, make sure you do smash that like button down below, subscribe if you are new here, and turn on post notifications, that little bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload next. So, in today's episode, it is obviously a little bit it's gonna be day five today we did do our horde base so it's uh we are all fortified and ready for day seven but for the next two days we are mainly going to be doing some looting so as you see we've got buried supplies over there and we also have a little uh, buried treasure in the distance over i think a few hundred meters that way so when it does become daytime again, we are going to be going and getting those today. And we're probably just going to go to the next town and do loot some POIs. So, obviously there's nothing really for me to do right now. So, I am just going to get back. Oh, but one thing I do have to do, which I didn't do last episode, is if we go in our strength, as you can see, I do have a point available. So, we are going to get Pummel Pete. And that means if we've... How many forged iron can we make? We're going to make 34. Okay, what we're lacking on? We are lacking on the iron. Do need to put a little bit more on that. So, what we can do is let's make 20 of these. I'm going to make a baseball bat. So, I'm going to come back in when all that forged iron has loaded in. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so that 20 forged iron has come in. We're not going to build it right now. We're going to keep it. We're going to just put it in our forge chest over here. Because I want to get Pummel Pete to probably level it up maybe once or twice more. I'm thinking, what is our strength level at? Is it level 3? I think, yeah, I'll probably put one more point into it before I make it. So it's a quality 3 baseball bat. So it's a lot better than just the quality 2. So it's not as good. So, yeah, whilst that is... Uh, going at the night time obviously we have our potatoes and our corn growing up top it still hasn't grown yet it is taking quite a while but yeah i'll see you guys in the morning time when the uh when it is daytime and we're going to do our loot okay so it is coming up to the daytime right now so what we are going to do let's make our way out with us so we have a good amount of food and drinks with us i think i'm going to take a few more bottles of water <laughs> we should be all good i think today as well we are most likely gonna do uh I'm trying to think, where is the treasure map is over here so if you go do that we can make our way back up okay i think that's the best way to do it yeah, I've completely forgot what I'm going to say. Oh yeah, uh, there is actually a new alpha update. So this is the alpha 19 experimental version again. So as you can see, I've actually got 10 slots in my hotbar. That is one of the new updates. I think it's really cool because I think you only had 7 or 8 last time. But now you've got an extra 3 or 4, which is really quite nice when you're looting. So you can have all your tools in the bottom with weapons and stuff. Makes it just a lot easier to get to organize all your things. But yeah, we are going to get back. I do want to level up quite a bit so we can actually go and make our baseball bat. So I want to upgrade that plug to one more level, get to level two. And whilst we are out, I need to, even though it's, no, it's really quickly, need to find a goldenrod flower and hit it once so we can then make some goldenrod flower. We can get that farming up for when I get the Wasteland Volume 7 treasure, back, treasure book. And we can go and make some pure mineral water, which is the best drink in the game. Okay, let's take this biker out. I don't think he's going to like that we're not doing power attacks on him. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is taking quite a while. Three more hits. There we go. The bikers, I think, I think they looked cooler before that revamp because they were just they were proper tall and everything. They looked they looked really cool. 
But yeah, I'm going to make my way over to the uh, to the treasure map. It is going to take a little bit of time to get there, so uh, I'm probably going to meet you guys there and then do a, another probably a time lapse for when I find it. But before we do that, look at the new. We've got another strippers on me, and look at there's a bit of a jiggle physics in there. If you look down below, which shouldn't hurt a woman, but a bit of jiggle physics. If you've seen, there's a video going around on Twitter about it. But yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead, guys. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we are coming up on the uh, on the treasure map. Now I don't really know how you were. Uh, find these guys because I'm not really used to doing these. I've never used buried treasure before. But I'll probably speed it up for you for you lot and it did take a little bit longer. You wouldn't have seen, but it's probably been about five, ten minutes before I uh, started recording again. Yeah. Cause I uh, I had to reset my game because it was getting a little bit uh framey, so let's take care of you. Don't want any intruders whilst I'm uh, doing this. Just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I'm probably just going to speed this up for you guys, and uh, I'll see you when we actually find the buried treasure. Okay, so I think we've actually gone and found it, I think. Oh, where is it? It is is over here. Oh my god, it, it's locked. Can we let's let's check what Okay, it's seven thousand. Yeah, we're gonna use our lockpicks for this because that literally takes so long to go and do it. I think we got about seventeen lockpicks as well, so we should be able to get in here all fine. Now I'm not too sure what you actually get from these so this could have been a waste of time or it could be really good to go because we could get some uh, I think you can get like jukes a lot of jukes stuff like that let's check okay so we got 29 flaming arrows some shotgun breaching slugs rocket ammo and 11,000 jukes casino tokens okay that was very worth doing. So, guys, if you actually have any, and I mean any, treasure maps, go do them right now. Like, that was... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was just a lot of stuff that we just got. 11,000 jukes. That's very good right now for us, because we don't really have anything. Okay, nothing really too much shit. There does seem to be another town over in that direction 
But yeah, I'm going to make my way back to the town. Probably going to go to the traders, do the buried supplies quest. Because I want to do a, a few quests, maybe one or two every video. So we'll do that. We'll uh, then go for some loot. Because it is day five. We've got two days till horde day. And I also need to get our intellect up because I want to make a bike. Now that is just so we can get around a lot faster. Now I don't know if I'll go to the mini bike straight away or to the uh, just to the bicycle, which we have, which is the first one you get. So I'm not too sure, but I'll I'll figure it out when we get there. So I'll just see you when we're at the buried supplies, and I'll go loot that up before we go to the traders. Okay, so whilst I am out in the uh, desert, it does seem that we have found a uh, crack of bulk store. So, you know what, I think before we go do this buried supplies, I think we're going to go loot this up because we do need a good recipes and the cracker book is very nice. And oh, is it, oh it's a four building. I didn't realize that. I only thought it was a only thought it was a two. Okay, we need to drink up here. We are in the desert. We are getting very <coughs> Ooh, we are getting very warm right now. So I think there is also a little bit of an oil mine here. So like always, we are going to mark it on the map. So oil. Okay, you know, no, you know what? We're gonna we do the buried supplies first, and then we'll probably make our way back over here into this town for looting, depending on what time it is. I could, because I don't think I've done a lot of recording this episode. I could, in fact, do a two-day streak. Okay, don't say it's on the concrete. <sighs> it might be on the concrete. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to speed this process up. I am going to dig out this uh, buried supplies. You'll see me when I have, in fact, found it. Oh, okay, so I didn't actually see, but we have uh, already found... Oh, we got a golden tea recipe. That's not too good. We can just sell it to the trader. I do have a little bit of meat on meat because I did kill a coyote that was nearby next to me. I think it was a coyote. It was something like that. So what we can do now... I don't think there is a trader that I have seen in this city, so I'm not going to go to her right now. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to use that. And we are level 9. Okay, that's very good. Yeah, we're going to go to our trader, probably drop some stuff off, and then go loot the uh, Cracker Box store. It might be a nighttime looting situation. I'm not, not too sure right now. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to make my way back. Oh, I need to use our bacon exit. I'm going to make my way back to the traders, so I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so we are back at the trader now, but I don't quite think I have enough time to loot that. Well, to go to the traders and loot that cracker box that over there, I think that is going to have to be a day six mission. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we'll probably just loot some of these houses around here. I don't think there is a POI in this town. Well, there probably is, I just haven't quite seen it yet, because it's a whole big, whole big town, so all the stores are actually in the other city. 
which well the desert part of the city which uh, is kind of unfortunate for us because who are you whistling at because you don't really have enough things to do that okay we're going to take the 120 ammo he does have another bread supplies 306 meters north we'll go go put that on but we're not going to really do anything with it okay what stuff can we sell that is really what i want to do so actually we're going to sell those for 105 i'm actually going to take that because i'm not really going to be using rockets and stuff like this i'm not going to use any of that stuff uh anything else that isn't really worth me holding on to no okay i'll keep all this stuff now i might actually go and buy that mining helmet so we are going to do that just for the uh i've forgotten what it's called but i know what it is okay so what does he have he has another anvil that is pretty nice but nothing really too much in here you know, come from room two. you know what i'm gonna buy most of the box and schematics and stuff just because i want to have them and we're also going to buy that anvil just because we can okay well what was what was that mod oh it's a mattress now mod okay There's let's learn all this we got deal more deal 10 percent more damage with fists leather iron and spikes knuckle weapons that's pretty good switch schematic and room clearing one room at, one room at a time this is how you conquer an urban building take five percent less damage until deal 10 percent more damage when indoors that is very good what we are going to do let's wear our mining helmet which is just a big improvement to our quality of life right now so that is always nice because we can actually see in the darkness now and whilst we're looting so you don't need to carry on or we don't need to hold any torches and stuff like that so i am going to make my way i'm gonna probably i'm gonna just put all this stuff back in the house and do a little bit of a yeah just drop our stuff off okay the game's getting a little bit framey now i don't really know quite what's happening okay yeah well also we can put our goldenrod seed down because i want to get those flowers going because if you didn't know with goldenrod you can actually make the best drink in the game it is called the uh oh it's five goldenrod bloody things in it it's not two or oh, have i got four now i've only got one it's i am stupid it's five flowers it's five things to make a seed isn't it i can't even do it it doesn't matter okay yeah basically you can make the purified water so uh what is it yeah just pure bottle of purified water which I think is 60, 60 drink, which is, it is the best thing in the game for that. So let's put all this stuff away first before we actually go out. Put our anvil in there. And there we go, we are on our way back. We still got 4,000, we got 9,000 dukes still, which is, in fact, really good. And we got another anvil to keep on us. We're actually going to keep those bullets on us and we should be all good so let's make our way what do we do do we take out the church i think we could take out the church let's let's give that a good go so i'll see what the guys at the front of it when i've probably cleared out the entrances okay now if you didn't know with the actual uh graveyard if you go to the gravestones you can go up and search the coffins if you uh dig underneath them which is actually it's ri sometimes you do get some really good loot okay, we're actually going to keep that and i'll probably we're not going to scrap them because they'll sell for a little bit more okay there's no nothing in that tombstone but i'm not going to dig them all up i'll probably do that after i've cleared out all the zombies just to make it a lot easier to get around and loot this whole place up so with the few ones that are open i'll loot them but if not okay normally they do hide you do get a lot of ammo from the coffins that's uh one thing you do get from it okay oh here he is i was wondering where that other guy was blow your head off is this a basement it looks like it is so i think we'll do this after we've done the main building 
I don't think we're going to have enough time to loot this and get rid of all the coffins. So, it could be it's oh, level 4 club. We're just going to get rid of that. We don't really need it too much. Yeah, a few guys in the uh, in the rafters. But they ain't going to do anything to us. Okay, let's wait for you to get our stamina up then. Oh, power attack. And he's not quite dead. So, we're going to have to wait for little one. And, oh, ow. Little bop in the head. There you go. Is there any loot up here? In the upstairs. There is a little purse. Give us some, just a little bit of jukes. No? Nothing real, really nothing up here? Okay. Well, looks like it is time to go down into this basement. I'm gonna we're gonna take our time i think this is literally just there's loads of coffins down here i don't think there's really yeah Ooh. never mind i'm gonna do that because i do want to wake the people up yeah as you can see it is a mausoleum okay we didn't get hit i didn't think that's where the people came out okay this is obviously, this is also one of the uh, new sprites that came out. It does look very cool, I have to say. Oh, not enough stamina. There we go. You are now out of it. I think we're going to have to use our, use our pistol to see if people are in here. Yep, okay, so take you out. This is probably the right call. Is there? Are they in every single one? I can actually get this lined up on a head. Well, I don't know why my aim's not moving. There we go. Now the thing is, I don't know why the phone flips actually did this, but I don't get how that doesn't awaken the zombies. Like I've literally just shot a gun right next to them. And just, they just ain't heard it. <laughs> it's a little bit stupid. Okay, she's woken up. Yeah. Did a little bit of a fumble. You okay there, mate? Not too sure. I think she had a little bit too much to drink last night. Oh, and there actually isn't one in there. And that's this is also where all the coffins are. I'm actually probably going to use the blunderbuss on this one. Yeah, there's two people lined up. That's where the blunderbuss does your best. Even though I missed. Make sure no one is behind us. Okay, we had to no skill push. Got a little bit too close. Hello, mate. There we go. I think that should be it for enemies. Yeah? Okay, this is where all the best loot is. It's actually a good find. Is that a, oh, a desk safe? Okay, well, I'm going to pick all the locks, get all this stuff going, and I'll uh, see you guys in a second. It's all open and looted up. Okay, so we're going to check our medical supplies first. Just the bandages from blood bags. Sugar Messiah. Okay, got some scrap gloves. That's obviously better than the reinforced, the reinforced, the padded gloves, sorry. Okay, a primitive bow. Not too useful, but we will take the ammo. Do this gun store box. Three repair kits. Always nice. And what have we got in here? Got a scrap gloves. Okay, that's just better than the ones that we have now. Six shotguns. Scrap the one club. Is that... Oh, iron boots. They are better than the scrap... Are they better than the scrap boots we have right now? I don't think they are. They're a little bit worse. But we'll take the iron arrow, the stone. Good ammo. And then automatic handbox. This is just... Oh, it's just the recoil one. And then we've got the wall safe... Up here, metal chain mod and a bone knife, level 3. That is worse than the one we've got now. I don't, we can't equip it on the on this, can we? No, we can't. Well, when we make our baseball bat, if we do level up, we can go and do it in there. But let's loot the rest of this stuff up here. We are going to be getting back at night time, which is kind of risky. But I think we could probably live because we're... We're not too far away from the house, so 
we should be fine. It's just if there's a walking, if there's a wandering horde behind us, it's not going to go very well. But let's let's hope there isn't. Okay, did we bring? We did. We brought one drink with us. We can do that. Okay, not too much. We're not getting too much loot from these coffins. Normally, they provide you with a uh, with a lot of uh, ammo and stuff. But yeah, there we go. We got a little bit of blunderbuss. Can we get something good from the foul trash? There you go. Three lot picks. Use the few that we got got rid of trying to open that death safe. Okay, I know there is something down beneath this. Down beneath this, yep. Ammo pile. Some shotguns. Then we got the final coffin. Six cloth fragments. Okay, so I'd say this this is probably a good win. Like we got quite a few stuff. That cowboy hat's actually probably gonna have to use that for uh I'm tr I can't think of what it is. We're in the when we're in the desert, losing that place up. Well, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way home, and we're probably going to end off today's episode. So I'll see you guys when we actually make our way back home. Okay, so we are back home now. We did I did run into a one little spider zombie, but. Because it's me, it wasn't too much of a problem. So let's make our way back here. Have these finally grown? I think they might have. There we go, potato, plant, and corn. But one thing I'm going to do, do I actually have... I don't have living off the land. But I do want to get Pummel Pete before we make it. So you know what? I said I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I'll put it in. I will... Uh, I'll, next time I get a level, I'll... No, you know what? It doesn't really matter too much. Like, it'll, it's better to just get them now and then grow them later on when I've got a level. So I think that's a little bit more worth it. But yeah, let me get back to what I am saying here. Of course, we uh, got back from the looting mission. We got... Let's put all our stuff away. So, as you can tell, ammo. We're doing very good. We've got 121 9mm and 82 blunderbuss ammo for the first one. We've got melt chain mod. We're actually probably going to put that on the uh, thing we just got on the baseball bat we are going to make so let's put all of this stuff that we are going to put in the forge you know if you are playing 7 days star you got to organise your stuff make it look nice and neat ok we should be all good with this probably going to we'll keep the cowboy hat on us just because so I remember I've actually got it but here we go let's get off baseball bat so what do we need we need wood leather duct tape oh it's f wait it's 40 since when has that been 40 I swear it used to be 20 is it because I don't have adventure engineering 2 no it isn't what it what is it I'm not too sure okay anyway so what we are going to do can we make 20 more forged iron? We actually can't. So, well, guys, if you uh, did enjoy today's episode and you do want to see more like it, make sure you do smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new here and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload next. This has been Mystic, and I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Peace.